Okay, in this video we're going to derive the equation of a sphere in three dimensions um, and look at some examples. Let's recall the proper definition of a sphere first. So a sphere is a set of points in R3 that is equidistant from some fixed point which we'll call the center. And I should say here this is a two sphere or a two dimensional sphere because we're really just looking at the outside edge which is a two dimensional object. Along the way we'll use this following distance formula in three dimensions which is given by the following. So if we let P be the point x0, y0, z0, and q be the point x1, y1, z1, then the distance from p to q is the square root, the difference in the x part squared, plus the distance in the y part squared, plus the distance in the z part squared. So this isn't too hard to get just by using the Pythagorean theorem. Okay, so I've sketched up a sphere up here in three dimensions, and notice we have a center point of x0, y0, z0, so let's write that down. And then notice we have a radius of r. And then we've sketched out here that the point on the sphere, an arbitrary point on the sphere is given by x, y, z. So let's write that down. So an arbitrary point is x, y, z. Okay, so what we want to find out is what kind of equation relates x, y, z, and z given that they're on a sphere of radius r centered at x0, y0, z0. So here's something that we know. We know the distance from the center to any point on the sphere will be equal to r. But notice we have uh, a coordinate for the center and we have a coordinate for an arbitrary point. And so we can plug that into the distance formula here where we take x1, y1, and z1 to be our arbitrary point x, y, and z. And that will give us x minus x0 squared plus y minus y0 squared plus z minus z0 squared. And that will be equal to r. But now we can uh, just square both sides to get rid of the radical, and that will give us x minus x naught squared plus y minus y naught squared plus z minus z naught squared equals r squared. And this is indeed the equation of a sphere with this data up here. So if we have a sphere with center x0, y0, z0, and radius r, then it has this equation. Okay, good. So I'm going to erase the board and then we'll look at a few examples. Okay, so here's the first example we want to look at. So we want to find the center and radius of the sphere given by this equation. So we have x squared plus y squared plus z squared plus 2y minus 6z equals 15. But that isn't of the form that we ended up with um, earlier, but it can be put into that form just by completing the square. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to rewrite this and give myself a little space to complete the square. So I'm going to write x squared plus y squared plus 2y, and then I'll put that in parentheses. And notice I'm leaving, leaving myself a little gap there to add in whatever I need to do to complete the square and then plus z squared minus 6z. And again, I'll add a little gap right there, so equals 15. So this is a, a good first place to start. So now we need to figure out what do we add in to this so it's a perfect binomial squared. And we use the old trick that we take half of this number, the coefficient of y, and square it. So half of 2 is 1, squared is 1, so we'll add 1 here. But then since we add one there, we also have to add one to the other side of the equation. And now we'll do the same thing in the z part. So we'll take half of 6, that's negative 3, we're going to square it and get 9. So that means we need to add 9 here and add 9 here. Okay, great. But now notice that allows us to write this as x squared plus y plus 1 quantity squared plus z minus 3 quantity squared equals 25, but now notice 25 is 5 squared. Great, so that tells us that our center is given by the point 0 minus 1, 3. So remember our equation had minus signs built in, so we have to switch the sign here in order to look at the center, and then our radius is 5. 
because we got this is equal to 25, which is equal to 5 squared. Okay, I'm going to clean up the board and then we'll look at one more example. Okay, so for our next example, we'll find the equation of the sphere with diameter PQ. So this line segment PQ, where P is minus 1, 5, 7, and Q is minus 5, 2, 9. So let's sketch out what's going on here. So we have our sphere. Let's say it's like this. I'm not really going to worry about where these points P and Q are in um, R3. I'm just going to draw them on each side of the sphere just as a sketch up. So let's say here is P and here is Q. And it being a diameter means that it has to go through the center. But notice the center is going to be the midpoint of P and Q. And furthermore, it being a diameter means the radius is going to be one half the distance between P and Q. So let's write that down. So notice that the center of this thing is going to be the midpoint of the line segment PQ. Great, but that's easy to find. We just do... Um, the x coordinate of p plus the x coordinate of q over 2, so that's going to be minus 1 minus 5 over 2. And then same thing with the y coordinates, 5 plus uh, 2 over 2. And then finally 7 plus 9 over 2. So that's going to give us, so that's minus 6 over 2 is minus 3. And then we have 7 over 2. And then finally uh, 7 plus 9 is 16 over 2, which is 8. So this is our center, which we called up here M. Great. And then our radius is going to be half the diameter, but we know that the line segment PQ forms the diameter. So we can use that. So this is going to be R is one half the distance from P to Q. Okay, so that is equal to one half times the square root of minus five minus minus one squared plus two minus five squared plus um, nine minus seven squared. Okay, so we get something like that. But now notice that's equal to one half times the square root. So uh, minus five minus minus one is four squared is 16. Great, two minus five is minus three squared is nine. So 16 plus nine, and then nine minus seven is two squared is four. So we get plus four, so we get one half times the square root of uh, 29. So that's our radius. So um, we have our center is given by this point right here, and our radius is given by this point right here. So I will clean up the board and then we'll write down the equation. Okay, so we determined on the last board that the center of our circle was minus three, seven halves, eight, and that the radius was given by one half times the square root of 29. So that means we can write down the equation of our, our sphere pretty easily. So that'll be x plus three squared plus y minus seven halves squared plus z minus eight squared equals one half times the square root of 29 squared. In other words, 29 over four. Okay, good. So that's the equation of this sphere. Um, and that's the end of this video.